This video was recorded in front of a live virtual audience. Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker. Today we are going to review the Chanel Metier Da 2022 collection at the M19, whatever they want to call the building that they invested in to put all those Metier Da people to work all together in one house. Talk about um, globalization much, but it looks like a wonderful, I mean, it doesn't look very beautiful from the outside, but the concept of it internally looks like a wonderful thing. Uh, I just still do not see how they manage to create all of those pieces several times a year for all the shops that they're selling for just in that one space. It seems like a space where they create prototypes and samples, but still the question remains, where do the final pieces that hit stores get produced for real? So let's watch together the fashion show before we get to it and analyze it and review it. Don't forget, like always, to thumb up this video if you're liking it and to subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. You can also push the join button next to the subscription button and uh, become a member today, gain access to extra perks. You can also join me on Patreon, Super Dacob, all spelled together on Patreon. Thank you to all my patrons and members who have already pledged. Without you, the Fashion Bunker wouldn't be here. Bottom line. Um, this video is being filmed live in front of a virtual audience. I live stream every Saturday. That's when everybody's invited to join uh, the live shows and to chat. I have my co-chatters with me on the sidebar right now. Um, what did I want to say? This video is taken from Chanel's uh, YouTube channel so it falls under fair use because we will be reviewing it however I did change the music I'm not using Chanel's music the music that they use because that's copywritten I am using a copyright free music for the review of this show and while you're at it if you're watching this review before a New Year's Eve uh, you could check out my holiday merch the snow globe in this case uh, with the crop <laughs> the crop the super deco fashion bunker crop forms a what we call holiday bush <laughs> so you guys uh www.superdeco.com is where you can get the merch or in my amazon store the link is in the description box down below a lot more holiday prints and shape sizes and also cuts are available okay let's get to the show you guys Oh, broken hip. <laughs> Already loving the colors. The huge double C, not so necessary. But okay, this is kind of the intro vibe. It's giving us the zhuzh. They're all lost. They don't know in this new building. How do we... Where's the fashion show? Where, where do I go? Confucian. New architecture, new building. Walking up and down the building. Yes, queen. Now, you see, they're kind of trying to make this a moment, but I think that building just doesn't look Chanel at all to me from the outside. So it's not something to be proud of fashion-wise in terms of looks, but whatever. And, you know, let's not forget, Chanel spent millions and millions and millions <clears throat> uh, doing their shows while Carl was alive. You know, the spectacle of it all. You know, the, the wonderful shows, the, 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 the build-up, everything. And now we kind of... This is just all the mood set up, okay? We're going to actually get into the actual runway in just a bit. But we, we see textures, we see... It's so funny when a fashion show is filmed in black and white. Like, why? We need to see colors. You, you want to sell the pieces. Anyway, this is just mood and a zhuzh. Oh, look, they're trying to coordinate the little zippers. Uh, um choreography oh bless them cute and of course questions aroused uh, uh during the fashion show and in the comments that chanel turned off on some of their videos um you know what about the advent calendar chanel are these models wearing the stickers from the advent calendar are they wearing the bracelet with the little <laughs> wax cap um are, were they styled with them huh chanel no they weren't obviously okay here's the first look Again, this building just doesn't do it for me. It's like, oh, they're filming a person walking outside of the building, and that's kind of to inaugurate this building. I get it, but it's just like, what a way to not spend any money. And then this inter this is like the lowest key scenario for a fashion show you could have. I love the cement. I mean, 
I live in a bunker as well. So this makes sense to me. But for Chanel, does it make sense? I'm I'm enjoying the low key scenario, but it does feel kind of cheap for Chanel standards, considering that this total look, for example, here would cost you an arm and a leg. But anyway, okay, let's get to the close. So thus far, I'm I'm experiencing a clash of things again. Um, <clears throat> Layering, layering, layering. Virginie loves her leggings. There's always finds a way to use them. Um, finally, we're getting more Chanel-esque, Coco Chanel-esque pieces where the skirts, for the most part, cover the knee. Coco hated knees. She always covered the knees. And I'm glad to see that the skirts are more or less covering the knees as well. The uh, It's a Métier Da collection, so of course they're going to try to show off, depending on which department is making the piece, the embroidery, there's going to be extra stitches, there's going to be always a little bit of extra, which to me, sometimes it's just too much, I don't need all of that, and it, plus it enhances a lot the price of these pieces. You know, like all of this embroidery here at the belly, it, it's unnecessary. Simplify it. For example, this knit. This works for me. Yeah, I know it's a bit nothing new. I love the color. It, just, it simply works. Is it very Chanel? The cardigan is, the rest not so much so. Beautiful royal blue jacket. Uh, again, very Métier Da. <laughs> All the pilettes, the sequins, it's just so much work to create that piece. So that's where... Uh, <clears throat> The magic is in that particular piece. Here we have the Chanel spelled out with in sequence on the jacket. That's what makes that jacket extra expensive. Like the combo with the purple, that worked for me. The colors are beautifully saturated. Her belt has a lion on it. The lion is going to be a theme running throughout the collection next year. So they already asked Goussaint to create a lot of uh, different types of lions. Embroidery, you know, Desrou, uh, Lesage, all of them are working here. You get to see all of these. And to me, in some cases it makes sense to have these extra bits added, but in some cases it doesn't make much sense. In some cases it's just there. The added embroideries and appliques are there, just all oh, that cross necklace who wrote their sales associate <laughs> asking for it, <laughs> this bitch. Um, in some cases, it's just like to show off for the sake of showing off that, look, we can do it, but it doesn't really always work very well when integrated in the piece. Interesting about this jacket. This jacket is cut the same way like my Métier da vest um, from the Chateau de Dame collection, except this one has sleeves now, but it has that same cut over here, except they add, oh, this cardigan slash jacket knit amazing except they added all of those extra embroideries and beads on on the pockets and those embroideries and beads on the pockets make that jacket cost probably four thousand dollars more than it would if it didn't have those beads but the beads don't embellish it the beads make it harder to use because you're gonna your sleeve is gonna get caught on the pearls and on the little crystals and it's just gonna ruin the jacket long term so it's not like in many cases these appliques that brooch Hello. <laughs> um, oh, that, that cardigan, the burgundy, all the knit. I don't know. I just feel like the knitwear, Chanel nailed it with the knitwear. This Métier Dacol, this jacket to die for. I know it looks like something that came out of the 20s, but yeah, Coco came out of the 20s too. Living for it. This is This is too much Balenciaga for me. You know what I mean? That beige moment. But anyway. Okay, so first I thought, oh, these... These like, oh, the cuffs going all up her arm. No, these are sleeves that have the app, the leather appliques and an embroidery appliques on top of the sleeve to make it look like they are cuffs, but they are not cuffs in reality. Um, so as I said, appliques sometimes, oh, there's a go. We got like the necklace with a lot of lions from the bigger to the smaller lion all lined up. Um, I'm not a big fan of a lot of those... Um, Maltese crosses and the new interpretation of them with the piercing, like they have holes in them and then from the holes, pearls kind of come out. That's going to rub off the metal and the plating off of the, off of those crosses. So I don't think that that costume jewelry is worth getting. You sh if you're going to get costume jewelry, get the clean pieces, the simpler pieces, 
when Chanel costume jewelry becomes too intricate, it usually backfires. It's the chunky, simpler jewelry costume jewelry that works for Chanel always. And the more complex and beady and refined it gets and the worse it gets. That's just from personal experience, quality wise, but also look wise long term. It ages terribly. OK, so here we have the 2YK generation coming back in that top in particular, that little knit top. Um, it's a it's a logo moment. I see how people want to wear the double C logo just to show because this card again, if you take off the double C logo, it wouldn't sell, right? I would prefer it without the double C logo because that burgundy color is amazing. And if it didn't have the logos, it would cost way less because they would need less time to apply all of those pieces to the garment and it would be way more elegant. But then again, you got the bimbos that want the logos and bam, there you have it. Now I'm a bimbo that wants a logo too from time to time, but it doesn't have to be from head to toe. If we tone it down a little, zhuzh it down. There was that one cardigan at the beginning that I liked that also had the weird abstract geometric logos and architectural logos on it. Uh, that one, interesting, interesting. If you want to pop a Chanel pop statement, just that cardigan, but no other logos, it's fine. This feels like they put wrapping paper on her, that particular logo all over that dress. The beating of her chest plate there was to resemble the facade of this new building that Chanel co-built or built for the Metier d'As. So it's kind of referencing it. It's mirroring the architecture of the building. So they're mirroring in many cases on the clothes, the architecture of the building. So they, they thought things through in some cases, you know, it's, they, they put some thought into this. <laughs> Sometimes, although this costume jewelry, you see too beady, too hangy, it doesn't work. These necklaces, either the length is too short, they should have been longer necklaces, more like satwa necklaces that go really, really low. The necklaces in many cases don't work. This color is gorgeous, though. I'm glad that it covers the knee. Ooh, wait a minute. Now, now I'm looking at it really big. I am loving this jacket sweater moment i should have sent that to my sales associate to ask how much that would cost um again the cross the goussin cross pearly uh with pink gorgeous and then there's also gold on gold also gorgeous these feathers i never understood why they push these feathers you can't sit in this it's going to break off you're going to lose all your feathers when you sit down pieces like this really just work standing and taking a photo i really am curious to know how many of these they would sell thank you for subscribing cherry how many of these they would actually sell, you know, in, in the stores. It's more of a kind of a red carpet look, I guess. But it's Chanel, of course, they, they should make red carpet looks, obviously. Some of them have to be. Here we're now in the evening dresses section. Chiffon, Chanel and chiffon always works. Flowing chiffon and Chanel, it, it, it's, it's always a must-have. Coco loved it, too. It's always a moment. I always love to see flowy black chiffon at Chanel. No matter what they do out of chiffon, it always works. You see what I mean? This feather moment, these feathers attached to the dress like that. You know that thing, it has little pearls at it. I, I get it, it's métier da. You see, this is what I want to say. They want to show off that they can do this, but just for the sake of showing off that they can do this, but it's not really a practical piece to wear. And that's where I have a problem with some of the métier da pieces. I think it would be more clever if they really worked hard to find ways to implement this savoir-faire into very wearable and durable pieces instead of creating this art moment that is not wearable. You know, like this is more wearable. I get it. Like they're showing us simpler pieces, more complicated pieces. You get to choose what you want. So fair enough. Fair enough. They're giving us enough choices for comfortable leisure wear, even though it's elegant. This is also gorgeous, by the way. Flowy, flowy, flowy Chanel chiffon is always the way to go. You see what I mean? The pierced cross, the cross has holes in it and then it holds the belt. That thing is the friction between those pearls and that uh, chromed metal. It's not going to work well. It's going to scratch the shit out of that cross. So I, that, that's not a good... Uh, not not a good piece of costume jewelry. I wouldn't recommend getting it. This is gorgeous. The inside white color, the black on the outside. But again, all the beading and the pearls, you can't sit in that thing. You're going to rub your shoulder against it. You're going to, they're going to pop and fall off. It's again, beautiful, masterful piece. This is the show closer, the show stopper, <laughs> literally. But it, it's, you're not gonna you're not you're gonna wear it once and then what you know you spent your fifty thousand dollars on it and then what you know but i guess if you have that much money you don't really care it, you will buy it just for one go 
And here's the end. They're like, oh, is this the entrance? And the sliding doors open. So the lady that's singing that nobody from the audience cares about, super sad moment. She was in the show. And after she did the runway, she then jumped up there to start singing. Nobody cared. Obviously, look at they pushed her in the corner of the stage. This is just a terrible place to do a runway, a Chanel runway. This is a place where you do a runway show students that study fashion design and then they get to showcase their work at the end of the year in this special environment this is not a place where chanel does a fashion show where a chick sings in a corner and nobody cares about her it just it feels very on a budget you know what i mean even though i understand they spent their millions in this building probably subsidized by the government in part because this is for preserving culture and blah 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 more power to them loving all the jackets that have just a cutout uh, lack of color, but just the round cut out, very Coco. And, uh, this kills me. The moment when Virginie Via appears and it feels like she... <laughs> it's like they're opening this building. All of the people working for Chanel have to find their office. And they the building is still super fresh and new. They still don't know where their offices are. <laughs> this is how it felt to me. Look at the end now when Virginie... Oh no, I'm blocking Virginie, damn it. We won't be able to see her maybe. Okay, so... It's going to, okay, all the models are coming again. And then Virginie is going to be, uh, she's going to appear on the side. She's going to poke through the door and then like leave again. Like, okay, is this where my office is? Oh, it's not. Hold on. Maybe it's the next door. Bye. <laughs> and that's the moment that I thought to myself, oh, geez, it just feels like when you're moving in a new building that the brand just invested millions in, but their workers did not get a raise. Everybody's becoming frustrated. Been there several times in my life with different companies I worked for. You just see them expanding and expanding and expanding and nobody gets a raise. And every time you talk about getting a raise, they tell you, no, sorry, like we're on a budget. We're working so hard. I'm like, you're working so hard. And yet you're paying Pharrell Williams millions to be your brand ambassador. Yeah, they did it again. Look at her go. Look at, look at Virginie looking for her office. She's like, wait, I wonder, is this where my office is? Oh, oh, no. No, that's not... What, okay, sorry, guys. <laughs> wrong wrong office. <laughs> and then she's like, is this where the advent calendar 2022 is being discussed? Oh, sorry. Let me go to the next room. <laughs> anyway, that was the review. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me get to some of the comments. I'm going to look into some knits. Yes, Kate, I I have sent a whole list of knitwear to my sales associate. I'm living for their knitwear. She farted. <laughs> Jack said, Virginie farted and left. It's like it's like when you fart in an elevator. You, you, you just, you don't fart in an elevator, you guys, you don't. It, it's just something you don't do. Okay. Uh, Andrew says Virginie is scurrying like a mouse in the background, always behind Carl's shadow. Oh, honey, the shade. <laughs> Jesus says, damn, Chanel, I fell asleep during the show and woke up now. Debbie says, weird. Uh, Sobe says, that uh, last moment was too funny. That last moment was too funny. Opal Unicorn says, lol, the advent calendar. Yeah, we're here for the advent calendar, you guys. Yes, but no, says Virginie barely acknowledges the appreciation. It does look like she took a wrong turn. Yeah, and she's always this hyper, modest, humble. Okay, bye. No, 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 don't, don't, don't. You know, don't, don't applaud me. Uh, my girl, take it, take it in because take it in. It's your moment to shine. If you're not going to shine now, when are you going to shine? Calamity Chris says, LMAO Jacob, your commentary is spectacular. Thank you so much. Rhonda says, I don't like all the logos, but I think the outerwear is beautiful. Uh, Andrew says, this show makes paint drying look exciting. Paris says, as tragic as the advent calendar. Jack says, it's all about the knitwear and the black chiffon for me. Me too. I'm living for their knitwear. Okay, I like the colors of the clothing, Debbie says. I did too. <laughs> Take it in, girl, says Jesus. Oh no, we're going there. Andrew says, I want Deco wearing Carl's outfit to enter at the end and bow. <laughs> With the little hidden high heel like he used to have. Florida Sam says, 26th day of Advent calendar is no dose to stay awake for the show. Oh my God, that's a good, that's a good sticker. Blonde and Chatty says, bet the audience got given an Advent calendar though. Um, she knows she don't deserve the claps. 
joking, not joking, says the wind testy. Wow, you guys, the shade is real. Opal Unicorn says, the pink coat in the beginning was so pretty. I mean, I enjoyed, let me show you the, the, the cardigan that I didn't talk about uh, at the um, beginning. I can also already roll the outro. This one here. It, it's a very heavy logo piece. Now, I love the cross, right? Hold on, let me send to the center. Um, I love the cross, obviously, because that's like classic old school Goussaint type of cross that, you know, could have been made during Chanel's life. So I'm definitely looking into getting that. Uh, this sweater is a bit much, right? But it's just so a lot that it maybe, maybe, I don't know. What do you guys think? The cardigans were nice, yes, and also the ones, I showed them on my Instagram already, but we can go through them again. Uh, I think this cardigan is a moment as well for me. It's definitely giving me, yes, you know. I like the fact, I mean, we can see, you know, the pockets, these chunky, chunky knit pockets, it, and, and then the side here panel. I think this is... Yes, it's simple. Yeah, have we seen this in the 90s in particular in the 90s a lot? Yeah, we have. We have. This ain't nothing new. This is the one I was talking to you about. It's like my vest from the Chateau de Dame Métier Da collection. It has this <clears throat> it has this curvy part here. It's the same cut like my vest, right? They re they're bringing back that, but this time with sleeves. But what makes this one really expensive, I believe, is the fact that you look what they did on the pockets. Just this is where where I say the Metier Da is just too much for the sake of showing off that they can. Then they do stuff that is so unnecessary, like these pockets here. They got little chains hanging off the pocket, little dangly bits, little pearls. You see what I mean? And I'm sure that this pocket is gonna just these pockets are gonna make this whole jacket cost like double the amount and it's so unnecessary it doesn't make it look prettier prettier to me it makes it look less practical because my sleeve is gonna rub off of those pockets when i'm walking and my wool is gonna get caught into those pearls and into those crystals that are sewn into that pocket it makes no sense and that's why i say sometimes these um Metier da collections are not thought through for practicality, but rather just for mannerism, just for the sake of showing off that we can. And I don't like that. That's what I'm. That's where where I say no. Metier da should be sh showing the metier da, but but also part of showing the metier da is implementing it in a way that it makes it so practical and functional while being jaw-dropping at the same time. And here, in some cases, that practicality was lacking, if you know what I mean. Andrew says, Jacob needs to be employed by Chanel as a brand ambassador or creative director immediately to save this sinking ship and breathe in some life and innovation with respect to the classics. Jacob would slay the brand. Hmm. Stay tuned. Stay tuned, Andrew. 10 cardigans were nice. The cardigans were nice, Sobi. <clears throat> Just Yoping says, I like the sweater. Yeah, the sweater set up for a moment, right? Blonde and Chatty, uh, love that too. That would suit you, Jacob. Yeah, the sweaters, I know. Yeah, could you imagine? I'm like, okay, yeah, were there 10 sweaters on the runway? Yeah, order all 10 for me. Thank you so much. Easy, easy breezy, you know. Budget is there. Not. <laughs> um, yeah, it's the chunky clothing that makes them look heavier. I love that they look heavier. The Wintessie says, Jacob doing a better work selling the garments than Chanel. <laughs> Florida Sam says, how dare you expect to walk in a Chanel jacket, right? And with that, we end it. That's exactly the point. Chanel is like, how dare you? Be grateful that you were even allowed to watch the show. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Oh, speaking of the advent calendar, follow me on my Coco Chanel is in my house, all spelled together. Instagram uh, profile, where right now I'm posting my own photos as an advent calendar. So here's a little sneak peek. You can see some of the posts I've done on a daily basis. The advent calendar version, a lot of the photos taken by me. Thank you guys so much. Until next time, never forget to never give up on love. Love you all. See you soon. Take care. Bye. Mwah.